a makeshift maternity ward. With Port-au-Prince's medical facilities in ruins or overwhelmed with trauma patients, these mothers face more complications than usual. UNICEF estimates that some 120,000 Haitian women are pregnant. 63,000 have been affected by the earthquake. 7,000 are due to give birth this month. Forecast rates of miscarriage are as high as one in seven. Estimates of life-threatening complications are also high. And for so many, a successful delivery is just the beginning of more difficulties. Postnatal care is also scarce. <laughs> Dr. Evelyn Ancion de Graff of the World Health Organization says breastfeeding is the most important thing for the newborns in this situation. They have very weak immune systems, so newborns have a difficult time defending themselves against pathogens. But breast milk, she says, can provide all the antibodies the baby needs to protect itself from disease. UNICEF and other UN agencies are vaccinating children, mothers and infants against diseases like tetanus and measles. But Haiti's maternal and infant mortality rates were already the highest in the Western Hemisphere before the earthquake three weeks ago. This man says he's grateful for the international aid. We're still alive today, he says, but who knows about tomorrow.